Hi guys, this is Deepak and in this quick demo, I'll show you how to create a gold image from an Azure VM. So a lot of time people deploy a gold image because they can't figure all the company's prerequisite as well as all the required softwares in that image and they use that image over and over again to deploy the uh, compliant infrastructure. Now, how do we do that? So I have just created a virtual machine and let's assume I have deployed all the prerequisites on this VM. Now, once those prerequisites are installed, I can simply subscribe it. So this is the important task I need to do. I need to subscribe the VM. So I'll run subscribe and I need to select generalize. That's the option I need to select and I need to make it shut down. So once it is done, uh, I will just go ahead and capture the VM. So this task would take a few minutes because it's subscribing the VM and once this prep is completed this VM will be in a shutdown state and we'll just come back and generalize the virtual machine. Now you could see this is prep is completed and I have lost the connectivity with the VM. Now I will come back and I will refresh the VM status and I could see the VM is still running. I'll just wait uh, for this VM to stop. Now you could see the VM is stopped. I will select this VM and I will select the option called Capture. So I'll click on Capture and once I click on Capture it would ask me to provide a name for this image. So I could give a meaningful name like my gold image, all software installed. And I can use a resource group and I can also select automatically delete the virtual machine after creating the image. So the VM will get created, uh, uh, sorry, the VM will get deleted and the image will be created. So this is validating the image process. And if you look at it here, it says you should have run the sysprep, which we have done it in our environment. So we will wait while this operation is completed. Now it has successfully deleted the VM. And if I just come back and try to refresh, yeah, I don't see that VM anymore. Now what I need to do is I will go and look for images. So I have got these images here and I can see the images created. I can use this image and I can create a new VM from this image. So I click on create VM and give a name to the VM, maybe VM1, I can pick up the storage, give a username, give a password, I select a resource group. Now you could see it has picked up the location as Southeast Asia because my image is in Southeast Asia. So I can't create this VM in different region. So if I have a scenario where I have got multiple locations, I may need to create multiple images if I need to deploy the VM from the image. I say OK and I pick up a VM size. I select DS, D2SV3 and I also select rest of the information for the VM creation like storage and it just use uh, manage this. You could see that I can't change um, or I can't use the unmanaged disk. So I'm using HTD, uh, virtual network. I'm gonna change my virtual network. 
and network security group uh, maybe I don't want it just click on none no extensions no auto shutdown and no boot diagnostic and guest OS diagnostic I'll say ok and I'll say ok now this will kick start the VM creation process now if I just come back and if I need to create another VM yes I can do it so you could see I have got the gold image and I can use that image to deploy the VM over and over again so this concludes the demo thank you bye